Hi everyone, we're now going to log in to Exhibit and look at the dashboard. First of all, we go into our browser, we type in exhibit.utas.edu.au slash login, go in, and the login screen, the email is your UTAS email address and the password is the password that you set when you activated your user account. If you ever forget your password, you just click down here, forget password, and you'll get an email to reset it. So we're going to log in, log in, and here we are, we're in the admin dashboard. So let's have a look and see what we have here. Well, first of all, in this white section, you'll see that you've got under manage sites, you've got a number of sites. Now these will be a list of all the sites that anybody who is adding a site to the platform. You won't be able to access all these sites because you will only be able to access the sites where you have either, you've created it as a site admin user or you're an editor, you've been given editor access to a site. Uh, down here is where you can add a new site. We'll do that in the next video. Now over here, you've got all the shared resources. So we've got our items. So if I click on there, you see we've got all these items that have been added by multiple people. And if they have been set as open um, for sharing, you'll be able to grab any of these that you may want to use in your site. We've also got item sets. Now, item sets are what you'll need to set one of uh, create an item set for your site, and we'll have another video to do that. So, if we look in here, you'll see that uh, the University Cultural Collections. This has forty items in it, and this is the item set that's linked to the University Cultural Collections website. And they all are listed here, again, under resources, you'll see you've got the items and the item sets as well. We won't worry about vocabularies and resource templates for now, we'll look at those later. So there you go, basically you've now logged in and you become familiar with the admin dashboard. Thank you.